Hi Scorpio, this is your reading for September uh, from the 31st of August to the 6th of September. Welcome back and thank you for your loyalty and sharing and liking. Um, remember, if you are not getting notified, then refresh your setting on the bell and just click on the bell and click on all, then there should be a pop-up saying you will be notified. There's lots of new things happening, so I hope you've uh, had a look at the video for news and updates and also the energy for Virgo, which we find ourselves in at the moment. It's a much slower, steadier and gentler energy than Leo, because that was action, action and passion. Wow! So we're in a gentler energy at the moment. The next energy will be Libra and I will be making a video on that as well. Okay, your first card is the Elder. And this I'm used in the Pagan ways and I'm also using the King Tarot of the Kingdoms and the Avalonian deck. But this one is from the uh, Pagan ways. You've got the Elder. The Elder is known in other decks as the Shaman. The high priest or the hierophant. Um, he represents an advisor, a man of knowledge, a man that knows the wet uh, law. Sorry, the wet is the law in Dutch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm bilingual. Okay, so it's somebody that knows traditions, laws, and uh, has a lot of wisdom. He's the head of the spiritual institution. Okay, now. He also represents Taurus, so you might be meeting a Taurus today. Or you might be seeking advice from a mature man. This could be your father or another mature man. It could also be your partner. Or it could be a professional, just like a bookkeeper, the teacher of your child, or a doctor, or an advisor of any kind, a bookkeeper. You know what resonates with you. It could be with regarding to a goal you're trying to fulfill or a wish as you have the star. Wow! The star also represents Aquarius, so you might be meeting a Taurus or an Aquarius. Your wish or goal is coming true. That's perhaps you might have come into some money because you wanted uh, you what you wanted that was your wish you wanted to win the lottery perhaps you've won the lottery this is just hypothetical and now you're seeking advice from a bookkeeper how can I invest um, my money okay on Wednesday we have the six of cups somebody might be coming back from the past and bringing you a gift. This could also mean that you are looking back into the past and remembering good times with family and friends. So, just remember, you can't bring the past back, but you can uh, think back to good memories and take a message from those memories. Perhaps learn from the past and put it back into practice in the present. It will stand you in good stead. Now talking about money, um, we have, I see we have the King of Pentacles. So everything that you touch, perhaps you might bring an idea back into the present that will make you money. As the King of Pentacles is Taurus, but don't exclude Virgo or Capricorn, Scorpio. Okay, everything you touch will turn to gold. So there is perhaps you did get come into some money, and you have seeked advice on how to invest, and you're seeing your return because the King of P Pentacles invests. And now you are seeing your return because everything turns to gold, turns out positively. Wow, magic. On Friday you have the Five of Pentacles. You might feel out of balance. 
Okay, now there's a couple of meanings with the Five of, uh, of Pentacles and the meanings of the cards. I Every time I look at different decks, I see different possibilities and your wisdom, your intuition grows. Now this could mean that you feel out of sorts, you're not in balance, or it could mean that you feel left out of a group. You might feel left out by family or friends. Perhaps you are working uh, so hard to make ends meet and to make money so that you can spend time with family and friends. Well, if you are working that hard to make more money and you haven't got any time for family or friends and you feel left out, give them a phone call or send them a message and let them know you still love them and you miss them but you're busy at the moment with regards to a situation or an issue at hand. There might have to be a project that you want to finish off and you haven't got any time to spend with your family and friends. Keep the contact going, keep the communication going, then you won't lose any friends. Like I said, you might be busy on a project and working hard. You've got the seven of, oh, sorry, no, not the seven of, you've got the chari chariot. You're going onwards and upwards. You are moving up, so that could be a promotion. You might be getting more clients. You might be moving home. You might be expanding your business and moving your business to bigger premises. It's not your home, but your work, your premises or you could be going on holiday. You have victory, you've got public recognition. Wow, you're the champion. You could even meet a Cancer, an other water sign, as the chariot represents Cancer. Now you have the Princess of Wands. The Princess of Wands is the page of uh, wands in other decks, okay? So you might be getting news from a younger person. A younger person than you, but usually it's a teenager. This could be an Aries, Leo or a Sagittarius. And this news could be about passion or about a new job or an investment action. And creativeness is a hobby. So it could also be about a hobby. Perhaps you're changing your hobby into your work. The last but not least card of the spread is the Three of Swords. Again, this is the card of loss, sadness, depression. Usually, the, the basic meaning in the olden days was that you might have lost a friendship and you're sad about it. Or you might somebody might have passed away and you're sad and upset about it. If so, my condolences and my love towards you and the rest of your family. I wish you a lot of strength. But in this card, it is looks so magical and cheerful. And I think that is a big, good, strong message. Um, don't be too upset because time will heal. Look at the light of the Divine shining upon her. Know that you are not alone. Perhaps that is why you are out of sorts here, because it's lying quite close. Okay. Now, there's an other deck, and I think that's an amazing deck, and there, that is from the Shadowlands. And there it's not um, negative either. There we've got the crow wearing his heart on a chain with pierced by pins and he's wearing sunglasses. And here again, this is glorified, beautiful, and the colours of the rainbow. Know that heaven and earth are connected and you're not alone. Be happy, but don't close yourself off. That is what I'm trying to say. Show your true emotions. If you are sad and upset and you feel alone, then talk to somebody. Take time out to go to a dear friend and go and talk to them. They will try to cheer you up. A listening ear, a problem aired is a problem shared, a problem shared is a problem aired, 
and then it is not such a heavy burden to carry. So don't isolate yourself, go out and talk about your sadness or how you feel and then because you've aired your problem then it will lighten the sadness. It is such, such a beautiful card. Don't close yourself off to beauty. Open your heart, open your solar plex and open your mind. Let the beautiful love and any loving energy that is surrounding you come out and in. Now you've got the world again. You are going upwards and forwards and you've got recognition, you've got victory and here again you are in you have the world the world is your oyster so stretch out your hands and take action jump into that new beginning again going up a step either in relationships or at work you might be moving home you might be going on holiday this is also my karma card if somebody's done you wrong or good they'll get it back threefold there you go and so will you. If you've done good, then you will get it back threefold as well. Now the last card is the Avalonian card, and that is the Ritualist. Routine, rituals. Do your rituals. That could be meditation. That could be contemplation, either in the morning or at night, or both. But also learn to evaluate. When you evaluate, you can work through emotions. And that will keep the mysteries away. Connect yourself with the source, like I said. Know that you're not alone. And ask for help from the source, the divine, God, the angels. Whatever you call it. Life has its ups and downs. And that is what we call uh, cycles. There are also ceremonies that you can do, but that's the same as meditation. And there is time for rituals, like I said, either in the morning or in the evening, or both. Meditate and contemplate. This will set you on the proper path and give you a beautiful initiation to a new beginning. Actually the chariot is also a new beginning because you're going forwards and upwards. Your wish is coming true but you must come into action and you must seek advice from time to time. Okay? And don't hang too much in the past. You can only change the present and the future. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Scorpio. Take care and have a blessed week, and please share and like. And I hope to see you in the life. I go live Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And if not, I'll see you in the next video. Take care and be blessed.